Hey, Melody, how you hey, doing? Hey, how are you, Jim? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Excited? Yeah, very. <laughs> Can't wait to see what everybody wants to know. Right? <laughs> hi, I'm Melanie. I'm an RN case manager for Valley Hospice. And hi, my name's Reverend Jim Alcorn, and I'm a chaplain with Valley Hospice. We have some questions from the community we'd like to answer today. Melanie, I'd like to start off by asking you a question. What is hospice care and its benefits? Hi, right, so hospice care is to improve the quality of patients' lives at the end of their life when they're usually given a prognosis of six months or less. Who is eligible for hospice and how do they qualify? Typically, when a prognosis for a patient is six months or less to live, that qualifies them for hospice care. When can hospice care begin? So hospice care can begin as soon as a patient is told that there are no more treatments and no more cure for whatever disease they have, such as, let's say, cancer. Sometimes people get so far with treatments to end up not having a cure for their cancer. Sometimes their doctor ends up recommending hospice to help provide better comfort and care in the home settings or in a facility to make sure that they're comfortable. What services does hospice care provide? Hospice care involves an interdisciplinary team, which has nurses, home health aides, social services, and chaplains for spiritual support. There's also art therapists and music therapists. And we also provide volunteers if a, if a family wants a volunteer to come and visit with them too. What's the difference between palliative care and hospice care? That's a great question, Jim. So palliative care is more comfort-based whereas the patient is still getting treatment, but they're looking to just have a little bit of symptom control and comfort, whereas hospice is strictly comfort care, where the patient is looking to be home in a facility with their family, and just to have comfort, no treatments, no cures anymore. Where can hospice care be provided? Hospice care can be provided in a residential setting in the patient's home, also in assisted living facilities, skilled nursing facilities, or independent living, pretty much no matter where the person is living. Does the patient's primary physician follow them to hospice care? Absolutely, so that is an option. The patient's primary can follow them through their whole journey on hospice, whether the family wants it, the patient wants it, and if not, they can always have the medical director of hospice follow them as well. Could you explain to us how the role of a chaplain is in hospice? Sure. Uh, as a chaplain, we're part of that interdisciplinary team, and we're there to provide spiritual and emotional support. Um, I like to put it probably with the three Ps, presence, prayer, and practice. We're there, first of all, to be present with the patient, to listen to the patient. A lot of times when I go into a situation, I find that patients just really want someone to listen to them and talk about what they're going through, as well as their families. We're there for them as well. Um, we also offer prayer, and we talk about their practice. We try to connect them with their faith and how are they best um, able to continue that faith on where they are right now. Um, so it's, it's a really good opportunity just to sit with the patient and be there. That's beautiful, Jim, thank you. What's a typical visit for a nurse going into a hospice patient's home? What's that like? That's a great question, thank you, Jim. So. As a hospice nurse, it can be very challenging to go into patients' homes, especially at this difficult time in their lives. So usually when I go in, I like to just touch base with the families and the patient first, see how they're all feeling. You know, we're there to provide support to not just the patient, but also the families. Every time we go in, we're making sure that their symptoms are controlled, they're comfortable, and that they're also safe. Oh, what a beautiful service. Thank you for listening today. If you have any further questions, feel free to go to our website.